Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Over the last few months, I've talked a lot about all of the various threats that I've been receiving from individuals, organizations, big tech. I've had posts removed, I've had videos removed. There will always be trolls. One can always put up with the trolls that will inevitably pop up in any arena that you're in. People who send you inappropriate messages, people who make ridiculous accusations, these people will always be there and one can stand strong against them. What is more difficult to counteract, however, is when you are deplatformed from any major site. Last week, I was actually trying to log in to a major US social media site, one of the top 10, where I've had a profile for many years and was told that my account was blocked and my profile had been deleted. I went back and forth with a member of staff by email as to why this had happened. And I was told that it was because I was frequently spreading misinformation. They gave me some examples of the posts concerned. And the posts were basically the same stuff that I talk about in my YouTube videos, where I frequently go over news and statistics from other countries, I cite governmental and expert sources, and I go over word for word what people are talking about and then encourage open scientific dialogue. This major US social media site was labeling these posts misinformation. They were, of course, not misinformation, so I went back and forth with someone who sounded like they were probably very inexperienced, very new, possibly an intern. But it got down to them telling me that I would have to apologize and say that I would never do it again. Think about this for a moment. This is someone who may have been a 24-year-old intern, maybe even a liberal arts graduate, hasn't done a science class for many years, telling a qualified doctor that they must apologize and say they will never stray again a forced confession. Very Soviet-esque, isn't it? But that's the kind of thing which is going on right now. I, of course, did no such thing and did not apologize to this person. So that particular site, all my years of work where I frequently, this is pre-COVID, talked about wellness, health, trying to help people, I have been scrubbed. Dr. Dand no longer exists on that site. There's a lot of other weird stuff going on right now with social media sites, and you've probably heard all of the stories. I actually saw a story just the other day about how Instagram had banned the hashtag natural immunity. They don't want anybody to talk about this. And I've heard YouTube may be about to do a similar thing where they start scrubbing videos which even mention natural immunity, even though it's a very well-established scientific fact and worthy of scientific discourse. Big Tech does not want anyone to talk about it. That is the terrible dark time that we are in right now with regards to certain aspects of scientific discourse and the way we are being censored. Anyway, I have truly had enough of Big Tech and I was looking around for other sites that I could join where I wouldn't be subject to this type of censorship. And I did discover a particular platform called Locals.com which was founded a couple of years ago only for this specific purpose in mind, to avoid censorship and encourage an arena where people could be very free and open with their discussions. I did join Locals.com and created a profile and my page link is down below. There's also an app which anyone can download on their phone. This particular platform appears to be one which encourages communities to get together and have this type of open discourse, which should always be happening without the threat of censorship and silencing. I really want to keep saying what's on my mind and I fully intend on this platform to be much more open with my own viewpoints and give you an idea of exactly what I'm thinking. I may have been holding back on some things so far, but I am truly done with that. I will present the data and I always strive to do it in a scientific way. I'll keep posting scientific studies, some recent ones which actually came out which are truly mind-blowing, but may be subject to big tech censorship crazy times that we are living in currently. I hope to see some of you on Locals.com then, and it's also a way that a lot of you can support me more directly with regards to what I'm doing. I want to continue posting. I want to continue standing up for free, open scientific debate, and I want to take the fight to these companies, to US Big Tech and other authorities as well. And I would really like your support in order to do that. I am going nowhere, but I can't be in this type of environment where I'm constantly faced with the threat of censorship. 
For those of you who follow me on other platforms like YouTube and Facebook, don't worry, I will still be on these platforms. I will still be posting on these platforms, but I'm going to be much more open and I'm going to be presenting much more interesting information on Locals.com. Thanks everyone for listening. The link again is down below. Dr. Sunil Dan, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine.